What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player review breakdown. We have got three big legends, I must say, right? At least on paper. Drogba, we always love to play with him in the Pez series. We've got Frank Ribery, who's new to the series as well, returning as an epic booster. Drogba is a beast. He's a bit slow. We'll get into his training guide in a second and his review, as we will do a couple of spins later on live stream for him. But we've also got Burkamp and Ribery. As I said, Ribery can play as an attacking midfielder or, a, or as a kind of traditional winger. And Burkamp is going to be your deep kind of uh, attack and center forward or kind of coming for the ball, kind of like Harry Kane. You're not going to be scoring a lot of goals with Burkamp if you're playing him effectively, but he'll still be able to bang him in with curled shots. And the way that they've made some changes to the gameplay, it's going to be all about kind of like dribbling, tight possession, balance. So I do think that these two players will be good. Drogba is a bit of a, a bit of a, a bit of a hit or miss depending on your playstyle, but we'll get into it, right? So let me know your thoughts on these players before we crack on with this. Let me know your thoughts. Do you like Burkamp? Do you like Ribery? Do you like Drogba? I mean, they have the players in a way now where I feel like every time they release these epic players, there's like one must have if you've even got an end game level play, uh, team. And then there's other players that are just like, okay, we don't really need to go out and, and spend coins on this guy, right? So this is going to be ongoing from the 16th to the 23rd. That's just a little trailer there. But getting into the actual players themselves, right? So it's as usual. It's going to be 150 players in the pack. And these packs are obviously filled as well with other players. But these three have got the booster. So Drogba, Rebring, and Burkhab have all got the booster. The other players, we will do a review on that as well. Uh, David, Diaz, Goray, El Nesri, Tete, those guys. We will do a review on that as well. But for now, it is going to be the three booster players here. So I'm actually going to turn off this webcam here just to show you. So the booster in effect with Drogba you're going to get is going to be his aerial one, right? So this is what I expect to, to have for most of the tall center forwards and the strong, physically uh, powerful players, right? So finishing, heading, jumping, and physical contact. His attributes are going to be really, really high. His stats are going to be really high. Bit disappointment, bit disappointing that his form is only standard. And also, lads, his player skills, while they're good, he does have one touch pass and aerial superiority. I would have probably liked, actually looking at that, I probably don't know what else I would have liked. Maybe knuckle shot, but to be honest, it's not a bad card at all in terms of his player skills. If you were just basing this card on his player skills and on his uh, max booster, it's actually a very strong card because straight off the rip, you've got 89 heading, you've got 89 physical contact, and jumping is going to be 85 with finishing at 84. So realistically, when you are training this guy up, you are going to have to just put six points into finishing and five into jumping, and one each into heading the physical contact to have 90 in all of those stats. So that's kind of how we're going to go with that build there, right? So this is kind of the build that we've gone with right here. So it is going to be similar to this, right? Now we can tweak this a little bit, but pretty much you've got 88 finishing there. You're going to be getting the two with, with this finishing, right? This is what I'll say to you is before eFootball DB, this website still doesn't have the manager boost. They are working on a brand new one. I know they are. Um, but you're only going to have to put 86 into finishing here. Why? Because you're going to get plus two on the manager bo bonus or else plus one. If you are using a manager with plus one, you can go to 87. And then obviously he's going to be getting his own booster as well. So potentially you have a plus four to this um, with just the manager boost and obviously the the standard player proficiency boost that you get with the manager and then the standard booster that he has activated on his card. So when this update is done for eFootball DB, there'll be a toggle there for, you know, viewing the max booster, okay? So because these stats can go over 100. But I think having his finishing at 86, his header at 92, we're going to get all of these boosted up anyway. The same with the jump. You only need that at 86 because it's going to be getting it. But to be honest with you, the only thing on this card, lads, is the balance, right? No matter what you do with this card on the balance, even if you take down his heading a little bit down to jump to 86 and put put more into that you're still only going to be able to max out realistically at 15 dexterity which is 70 balance which again is the problem with a lot of these cards it's a problem with a lot of these cards and it continues to be a problem with these cards if you are using them for a kind of a standard you know get on the ball there is a noticeable difference between using the likes of latauro martinez or you know even the new guy jonathan david who we have there in part of the european attacking players that they dropped as well um that are in this pack uh here there's a noticeable difference between using them and big bulky clunky kind of players right moving on to dennis burkham because i want to keep this video short and sweet is it worth it to get Dennis Burkamp? Well, his abilities are going to be similar to Messi's, right? The big-time booster Messi. So you have ball control, dribbling, tight possession, and low pass. So 
What this means is that if you are using um, the new managers, such as Xavi, who gives ball control, right, you are going to be able to get a boost onto that as well to have his ball control incredibly high straight off the rip at level one because you're going to be getting the manager boost as well. So if you're using Xavi here, you're going to get plus one on the ball control and then you're going to be getting another plus two for the actual manager proficiency boost, right? Um, and then obviously you have your two on this booster, so it's going to be plus five, right? But again, you look at this player with the balance, you look at it, he's on standard form. It's a little bit disappointment, man, because Dennis Burkamp was a phenomenal player. And I think when they are going to be releasing other versions of these players, this is why I do think that they're going to release kind of like ultimate like versions of these players where they're going to be like 100 overall that you can't train them, that their just stats are just what they are eventually down the line, like all-time great version of these cards, right? He's got excellent player skills. Of course, he's got Sombrero. He does have one touch pass, thankfully. I would have liked to have him with double touch as well. I would have given him double touch just because it's such a, you know, a meta kind of player skill to have. And I do think that Burkham should be silky. I definitely do think that they've captured his attack and prowess uh, quite well. That's going to be very important for him. And when we are actually going to be training him up here, this is the training guide that I've I've kind of gone with. Now, I still need to tweak it. His speed and stamina are really, really poor. I do think that this card is more kind of like bring him on in the second half attack in midfield or else start him as your attack in midfielder and try and get the ball into his feet and dictate play from attack in midfield. That is where I would be playing him. Obviously, he can finish as well. So if you're used to, you know, playing with the likes of Del Piero, um, I would also say the likes of Dybala, who's able to shoot from outside the box or inside the box, just, you know, nice and just slot him away. Burkamp will be good. But for me, he is kind of a disappointing player, lads, just because of where the game plays at at the moment. Now, that's not to say that you couldn't get Burkamp and have a load of fun with him, like I have with Collar. But in terms of just for the standard player that's looking to, you know, have him as an average review, I do think that he is a little bit too slow and clunky, even though his balance is quite high. That standard form just doesn't really cut it, even though he is going to be on B rating all the time. And he's down as a whole player. Whole player is not as... Um, you know, overpowered as it was in eFootball 2023. So that leaves us with Ribery. So Ribery was one of my, well, I won't say one of my favorite players because I always say that, that, but he was one of the players that I used to always sign in MLO. I have a video coming actually, lads, I'm going to show you back in PES 2016, which was one of my favorite games to play online. It's all clips that we're going to go back and revisit it maybe next week. But this guy is a phenomenal winger. He's got un unwavering form. He's got ball carrying, which is going to be dribbling, tight possession, speed and balance, which is brilliant for this card. That means that he's going to be on level one at 86 overall with dribbling already in the 90 with the manager boost. Obviously, once you get that in game plan, tight possession, ball control, acceleration and balance are brilliant there. And he also, you can choose to, you know, whichever way you want to throw him he does have double touch he does have flip flap he does have chip shot control he doesn't have soul control there and he doesn't have one touch pass so you can play him as an attacking midfielder or you can play him as a winger right we've gone with this build this is the build that we've gone with here for frank ribery uh you've got 31 levels we've put seven into passing we put six into dribbling eight into dexterity and 11 into lower body that's pretty much going to give you the max version of him and then you can decide whether you want to put that in to six shooting if you want to have the finishing up over 80 or if you want to pop it back into dexterity to max out his acceleration and balance. It depends if you're using him as an AMF or a left winger. If you guys want dedicated training guides on these, these are probably the versions I would go with if you just don't want to think about it too much. Um, I will test them out and see uh, on stream later, hopefully when we do spin. But yeah, we will be back also as well. Ribery is probably the pick of him, lads, because he's new, he's fresh, everyone will probably want to buy him. I will be back with these players as well. But when you look at the likes of Diaz here, lads, for the role that Diaz is going to be doing, apart from his balance, he's going to be able to do a very similar job to Ribery. And that's kind of where I think that they're missing a the trick with these players, you know, is to make them very unique and make them extremely overpowered. But it's very hard to make these players overpowered now because there's so many insane players on the market as it is that are just standard cards, like player of the week or whatever. So we will be back with that video and I hopefully will be streaming later. Until then, don't forget to subscribe and uh, let me know what you think. Did you spin or skip? Talk to you in a bit.